So um, out here at Valdora, so we're halfway between Coulomb and Yandina. Um, we've got a thousand metre track. Um, and as you can see from the view, these horses are looking out of the stables all day, every day. Um, they're not confined just to boxes. We find that really helps them and helps them relax actually. Some of the horses that come here are highly strung, they're really relaxed and they do really well out here. So it's really, really good way to train, especially if these kind of horses are getting a bit older as well. Um, and then we just run into the Sunshine Coast Turf Club and do our fast work. We take them in a couple of days a week to do slow work too, just so they're not going in and just familiar, familiarising themselves with going in and just doing fast work all the time. And we've got the advantage we can work a bit later, we don't have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, these guys don't mind us sleeping. Um, and, but we can go both ways as well, so we can go anti-clockwise and clockwise. And, um, but yeah, I think we've had four runners from the stables here for three winners so far, so it's, it's going good. So it's a thousand metres. So we can get up to a bit of strong pace work from the back corner to around the top here. We can bring it back, ease them down a little bit, do it again. Um, we normally give them a nice warm up lap and we can just do a trot and we dig into their work and canter work. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, no, they're really happy out here and it's a really nice track to work on. Here's Leroy the Conqueror down the outside, winning shot Alderman and Leroy the Conqueror, winning shot, Leroy the Conqueror, Leroy the Conqueror, dashed up, grabbed the lead and Leroy the Conqueror, Leroy the Conqueror defeats winning shot. So he goes really good, um, he loves it out here, very cruisy. Um, he's a lot more calm, um, I've rode him a couple of times at the track, obviously being out there, they're a bit more stronger, a lot more horses around. Here he's relaxed, he loves it. He loves the view. Um, he just gives a, puts a good show on for me. It's nice. Um, to be in a stable and see these horses progress like this, um, it's amazing. And you know, the feedback that we get, um, how happy the owners are, it's just astonishing. I like it. As Damien said, um, it's a tough race, certainly is. Um, it will test his limits. Um, but by the way his work's going at the moment and the way he's feeling. I think he stands a good chance. Um, he's got a nice feel. Um, he's doing everything right in his way. Plenty out wide, but Leroy's back. Leroy the Conqueror's won from a photo. Oh, Damien Battles has weaved the magic wand. It was Leroy. good first up. I thought he was a touch underdone going into that run. He only gave him the two jump outs and normally a couple of jump outs from trial. Um, but um, no, we thought if he brings his best foot, he'd be 85%, 90% and he'd probably get the job done, which he did. Um, but he's um, come on really, really well since that race. And, um, bring your rat bag. And, um, yeah, no, it was really good first up. And he loves Sunshine Coast. I think he's had four wins or three wins, four wins there. And um, he just likes the big open straight, I think. He gets back, runs on. I think it's been his downfall sometimes. Um, Doombin, he raced, I think he had three starts at Doombin, ran second, he was running on, beating, you know, half the nose. Um, so he's probably been a downfall a little bit. Um, he's probably one of those horses that probably should have won six or seven races. It's just his pat and gets back, but that's the best way he likes running. He goes to sleep and then runs home and he can run some really nice sectionals. Yeah, well we trained up there for a little while and he was he didn't mind and he's galloped. Um, it's probably not the Sunshine Case or Eagle Farm for that matter. Um, so he'll probably get back like he does and then runs on. Um, he might be a little bit being a bit fresher second up. He might be a bit more handier, which would be a lot better off for us. But um, no, I think he'll handle the track array. Right? <laughs> you'll know he's in a race with those type of horses and, and we understand that and you know there's going to be you know alligator blood's one there's going to be you know half a dozen or really or more a dozen that are going to be really good quality horses um look a couple of seasons ago in the winter carnival jeff lloyd touted him as a nice stakes horse um if we get some given the track he does grow an extra leg he does like it a bit soft um but look he will try his heart out and he he's, he's a tough bugger and he'll give it every crack he'll definitely be trying his heart out that's for sure